Welcome back guys. It is weekend five of quarantine, which is wild. Can't believe it's been five weekends in a row, but I was just saying that my days seem to go pretty slow, but then before I know it, it's Friday and we have the weekend again. I don't know, my weeks seem to go a lot faster. But anyways, it is another Friday and we are just hanging out, obviously. Um, we're actually kind of talking about things that we want to do this weekend. So tonight is Friday and I think we might just hang out. We want to either start another puzzle or play backgammon, which is a super fun game if you guys know how to play it. It's kind of hard to learn, but once you learn it, it's just like a classic game that we both love to play. Tomorrow we might either take our kayak out or go for a really, really long bike ride because it's supposed to be nice. It's like the first semi-warm day in over a week so we're getting like cabin fever and we need to get outside so for sure gonna spend the day outside tomorrow and we have another like zoom party with our friends which i'm not gonna lie i'm getting really sick of zoom but it's literally the only way you can like see your friends and family so it's fine it's a cool deal so yeah welcome back we're gonna just do what we can to have a good weekend. Can't really start a weekend without some new wine, especially in this house. <laughs> the other weekend we were having a drink and I was like scrolling on Instagram and I found this brand, it's called Usual, and they have the cutest packaging and I am the biggest sucker for cute packaging, so I accidentally bought wine and it came in the mail today, perfect time, Friday afternoon so we're gonna open it and hopefully it's as cute as it looked online I'm so excited okay so far so cute it says have what does it say have fine wine and drink it too so cute Let's see what it looks like I'm gonna pull this off Oh yeah, that is so cute. Look at how adorable they are. So they kind of look like little beakers. So they're not full size bottles of wine, obviously, but I got the mixed pack. So I got um, the white, which is super cute. That was rose that I showed before. And then this is their red, which David will definitely be drinking the red, but how fun, I'm so excited to try these. Like this is definitely a vibe for a glass of wine. Like I don't even wanna drink them, but I will. Love those. So yeah, that's usual wine. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll, like, I'll leave a link in the description. Obviously not sponsored, wish it was, but it's not. So check it out. Okay, I actually just looked closer. This is champagne, which is super cool. I love champagne, so I'm excited about that. I thought it was just white wine, but um, I just wanted to clarify. All right, it is Friday after five, so we are pouring ourselves a little drink and we're gonna go walk around our neighborhood. We're having Corona tonight because we're making homemade Crunchwrap Supremes tonight, so it's kind of a little Mexican night. Yeah, looking forward to those for sure. It's okay. finally like nice enough to go outside. It's been super cold and even snowy the last few days, so. If you don't put salt in your Corona, you're doing it wrong. People just put a little salt. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we're back from our walk now. As you can tell, my face is like super red. I think it was just like from the wind and I self tan today. But uh, we went for like a two and a half mile walk, which felt really nice. And now we're back home and we're gonna make Crunchwrap Supremes at home. Um, I'm actually filming a bunch of recipes that I'm making throughout like this week. So I'm not gonna really show you guys how I'm making it just because I'm gonna put that in the that video. So I think that might come before this, I don't know. If it is, I'll put it in the description, otherwise it's coming next. So yeah, we're gonna make crunch wraps right now and I'll check in, I'll show you guys the final product. Hopefully it works out, haven't made them before. Okay. Here's the final, you guys, it looks so good. They like, look delicious, they look like- They're gonna focus, focus? 
there. They look like authentic from Taco Bell. The only thing we wish is that we did have some Taco Bell fire sauce. Yeah, Taco Bell fire sauce is where it's at. Cheers. Mmm. So good. It tastes so much like it too. Mmm. It tastes like Taco Bell, but like better because it's better. <laughs> the meat quality is about yeah. 100 times better. So good. We're done with dinner now. Made ourselves a little cocktail, and now we're going to play backgammon, which we learned to play probably three years ago. It's just like a really fun game, and we ordered this board on Amazon. So this is the board we got. It basically just folds up into itself. But yeah, it's a super fun game, and I feel like it's a classic one that... Like all our parents knew how to play and oh god i'm ruining things but yeah i don't know it's just a super fun game and something better to do than just watching tv so we're gonna play a couple rounds of this dave will probably beat me in every one of them but we're gonna give it a try two three Oh, look what I did. Oh, it wasn't on shuffle, that's why we kept it. One, two, three. Now we go. It's just kind of a boring game. Yeah, there was literally no... Not, we didn't like at all interfere with each no. other. It is almost 9 o'clock now, and we played a couple games of backgammon, which I actually won. I don't usually win. I win like randomly, but it's, I feel like, just luck. But this time I won every single game, which was so fun. Uh, but now I'm going to run up, rinse off my self-tanner. I've had it on like all day, which I've been doing that like once a week. And it honestly just makes me feel so much better. I don't know. There's something about being like golden and tan that I just love. So I've been doing that like once a week and it's been super nice. So I'm going to go rinse that off and then honestly probably either read my book. I started a new book called... Where the Crawdads Sing, I think is what it's called. It's a really popular book. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. Um, I'm only on like chapter two, so I can't say if I like it or not, but probably gonna read or I started watching Virgin River, which I don't know. It's not like the best show I watched, but it's just something like easy to watch. And um, yeah, I kind of got into it this week. So probably gonna do both of those things and then head to bed. I feel tired right now, so. I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, it is Saturday morning and I'm up and running an errand really quick. So it's my brother's girlfriend's birthday today. So I ordered her this gift box from one of my favorite shops in the Minneapolis area. Um, so basically you could go online and pick out anything you wanted or tell them like things that the person likes and they would create like a little gift for them. So I did that this week and this morning is the pickup time so I've already like paid for it and it's already made so I don't even have to go in the store. I'm just gonna like pick it up from outside I guess but that's what I'm doing this morning and I'm gonna go drop it off on their front porch and leave. So sad I feel like we'd be doing something way more fun with her today but it is what it is. So I will show you guys the gift box once I get it. I'm really excited to see it all put together. Um, you can order all this stuff online. You don't have to be from Minnesota to get it. So if you guys do like it, I will link the store below. It's got the cutest and coolest gift ideas. So I'm gonna go get the gift and I'll show you guys. Okay, so here's how it comes. Um, I got a birthday card, so I had to fill this out. I feel like we should just open it to look inside. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Okay, first off, cutest packaging. And then, this is the whole kit. So, I got her this really cute silk scrunchie. Um, I got her a candle, so they threw in these cute little matches. This face mask, which is so cute. Oh, it's like jelly. Okay, and then I got her these bitters so that she can make cocktails at home. And then I got her this really cute, um, like, stir spoon, which I love. Kind of want that. And we got this face oil serum which just looks super cute and I'm sure it's super nice 
And then this is the candle, which smells so good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna basically just organize this and then go deliver it to her. This is the store, if you guys are wanting to buy one of these, I feel like I'm gonna maybe do these for Mother's Day gifts. I just think it's super fun and they're really helpful and will personalize basically anything you want. So yeah, I'm gonna organize this and then go deliver it. Okay, it is a lot later now. It's almost two o'clock and I got ready, we had lunch, and now we are packing up a backpack and we're gonna go for a long bike ride and then kind of find a spot to lay out a blanket, have a couple drinks and read our books. I feel so weird when I say that because I am not a reader. I honestly have not read a lot in my life other than things I had to for like college and stuff. But I don't know, recently I've been really liking it. So I'm on my second book, which is probably not a lot to a lot of people, but to me it is. So we're gonna go ride our bikes and just be outside because it's super nice out. Here we go. Okay, we are back from our bike ride, which we were outside for probably like two hours and it was so nice. I just feel like getting outside is a game changer during all of this. I know I said that before, but it really is. Like <laughs> the last week we've been trapped inside and I caught David and I fighting a little bit more. I felt like we were just like getting at each other's nerves just because we were literally stuck inside this whole time. So I feel like just being able to get outside and enjoy that makes everything seem a little bit more normal. So anyways, we are back now and we're gonna make dinner. We ate lunch, brunch, whatever it was at a really weird time. It was like super early. So it's only five o'clock, but we're both really hungry. So we're gonna start dinner now because whatever, there's no rules. So we're actually gonna grill chicken wings for dinner. Um, Literally, wings are one of our favorite foods. So David is gonna do that, and I'm just gonna hang outside. I changed into a couple different layers because the sun went down and it got a little cold, but I'm like not staying in this house. I'm going back out, so yeah, gonna head outside now. The wings are done, and they look amazing. These are a spicy garlic wing, and then these are barbecue, spicy garlic, and ranch on top. It's like a wing that we learned about in college and it's so good. Celery, obviously, and I don't know. Looks amazing, can't wait. We just finished dinner and now we're prepping for our Zoom party at eight o'clock. It is 7.15, but I recently bought this game. It's an online game that a guy designed called Stay the Fuck Inside. And all the proceeds go to COVID-19 and um, so I bought it and I thought it'd be fun to play with a bunch of my friends. So um, we're trying to figure out how to like screen share so they can see the game and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing now. And then at eight o'clock we're gonna get on and I feel like we should have probably like, I don't know, 15-ish people, so it should be fun. Um, but yeah, that's probably what we'll do the rest of the night. I'll let you guys know if this game is fun and I'll link it below if you guys want to do it. You just download it. It's it came, it's like $4.99 up to like $7.99 depending on how much you want to buy. I bought the $7.99 one, but uh, I'll let you guys know if it's any fun if you guys should download it. Anyways, it's obviously helping and going to a good cause. So even if it's not that fun, I'm happy to do that so yeah that's what I'm doing right now and I'll let you guys know if it's any fun for our drinks tonight we're gonna do fresh lemon juice and I got this new lemon uh, juicer it's off Amazon the brand is Chefin, but apparently you get 20% more juice out of this than other ones so we're gonna test that out so we're gonna do fresh lemon juice um, some LaCroix some tonic and vodka um, I mean, it's nothing revolutionary and I'm sure it's going to be good, but 
Let's see. Will you grab the tonic, babe? Okay, so we got lemon juice, some tonic water. We're gonna top it off with this lemon LaCroix. And a piece of fresh lemon because never can have too much lemon. Oh, what if the next one we put true lemon in it? Oh, I'm doing that next time. That sounds so good to me. All right, cheers. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am just sitting down to do my makeup. It is actually already almost two o'clock. Or yeah, it's 2.15 already, so kind of a slower start to the day. Um, I did spend my morning kind of creating, um, or doing like content creating schedule basically. So I'm coming up with videos that I'm gonna be posting for like the next, um, I don't know, couple weeks. So I actually came up with a plan and I think I'm going to do um, a vlog week. So it's basically me putting up videos every day for an entire week straight. So kind of like Vlogmas, you guys will get a video every single day. Um, I'm going to start that not this coming Monday, but the following. So by the time you are watching this in just a couple days, I'm going to start vlog week. So. I don't know, I just felt like putting out more content for you guys and um, also challenging myself. I feel like YouTube is really something that keeps me busy and keeps me doing creative things and it's just something to like, I don't know, put my energy into. So that's what I'm going to do. And then on top of that, then I tried to come up with a meal plan for the week if you guys are in charge of doing that for your family or yourself um you probably feel me right now my husband does help me quite a bit with like figuring out what we want to eat but i just feel like because we're home now for like every meal lunches like everything and we're trying to avoid going to the grocery store a lot we try to like go no more than like twice a week and i honestly don't even feel like we should be going that often but it's just like so hard to plan that far ahead i don't know i'm just I, it's hard so we spent the morning just kind of figuring out what we're gonna do for dinners and lunches for this coming week i'll share that with you guys when i'm done doing my makeup in case any of you guys are also struggling maybe i can give you guys a few ideas Oh, so I wanted to update you guys on the stay the fuck inside game that we played last night on Zoom. Um, you can basically buy it online for like five to eight dollars depending on what game you choose. Um, it was fun. We played it for like an hour, but I kind of felt like it was games I had already played or I already owned. Um, it kind of reminded me of Most Likely 2, if you've ever heard of that game or like Cards Against Humanity, that type of thing, um, which we have a bunch of those games already, so I kind of felt like I'd already played it. But um, if you don't have any of those games, and it also goes to a good cause, so I don't want to say like not to buy it, but if you have any of those games, it's kind of similar to that. But if you don't, it would be super fun and it's super easy to do. So if you guys are getting bored on Zoom calls, um, I will leave it in the description box below. Just take a look at it. And yeah, I just wanted to update you because I know I said I would yesterday. All right, all done with makeup. I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll let you guys know what's on our weekly food menu in case any of you are wondering. 
Okay, I grabbed my list of everything that we're making for the week. So hopefully this helps you guys if you're stuck on your meal um, ideas like I was. This took me like an hour to come up with because I feel like I've made literally everything I've ever made in my whole life this past month. So these are the five things that we're gonna make this week. We might make more, but these are like our solid like Monday through Friday meals. And then a couple of them will have leftovers for lunches. Otherwise for lunch, I usually have salad or um, we'll have stuff for like a sandwich or something like that. Just something easy, just so we're not spending hours in the kitchen every day. Um, but the five things that we're gonna make are tostadas because we have a bunch of shells left over from our Crunchwrap Supremes. So we wanna use those. So we're gonna make tostadas. We've been wanting to eat more fish, so I'm gonna make a fish Florentine, which I've never made before, which will be fun and looks so good. And then we're gonna do a spicy tuna casserole because it is so good and we've been craving it, but we couldn't make it because we weren't eating chips for like the last month and a half. So we're gonna make that. It's um, out of the Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. It's like a jalapeno tuna casserole. I don't know, it's pretty good. Um, and then we're gonna do just like a steak, baked potato, and some sort of green, probably like broccoli, just because, I don't know, we have a lot of that and David likes to grill, so. We'll do that and then one other day we're gonna do Italian beefs which are so easy and so good and you can do them in the crock pot and it gives you like a lot of leftovers so yeah that's kind of what we're gonna do for the next five days and then on the weekend we usually will get takeout or um, whatever we'll figure it out then but that is basically what we are gonna do I have to make the grocery list and then probably just send David tomorrow just because I feel like the less people that go and how often we go is the better. So since David's not working, he probably will go tomorrow and do grocery shopping. So yeah. Okay, I'm kind of bored today to be honest. I'm kind of like running out of projects to do. So I'm gonna tie dye one more piece of clothing. Okay, so I found this sweatshirt in my closet and I don't really wear it anymore. So I'm going to cut it so that it's kind of a cropped sweatshirt and then just gonna bleach it and see what happens. But it's just kind of getting dingy and you know when you wash blacks too many times it just starts looking gross and it's like kind of pilling. So I'm gonna tie dye this, see what happens. If it doesn't turn out, it's like no loss. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so. I got my sweatshirt. I do have a video on how to tie dye, so I'll link it below if you guys want to know, but um, it's super simple. I'm gonna actually use a sweatshirt that's around my waist to kind of measure where I wanna cut this. So I trimmed it, and now I'm basically just gonna bunch it up. Rubber band wherever I want to. Oh, that broke. Now I'm gonna fill this up with bleach and water and just spray it down. Okay guys, here's what the finished sweatshirt looks like. I think it's pretty cool. I feel like for something I wasn't wearing, now I will totally throw this on. Especially now because like loungewear is all I wear. So I feel like with black joggers or something, this will be really cute. So I'm gonna go throw this in the wash and then I'll try it on. Here is the shirt out of the dryer. I think it turned out so cool. Someone's got to take the bleach away from me, you guys. I feel like my whole closet's going to be like this by the end of quarantine, but I think it turned out super cool, and all it needed was bleach. All right, but it is almost 7 o'clock on Sunday, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Probably go read this book, which I'm on chapter 10 now, and I'm slowly getting hooked. The first five chapters, I'll say, was kind of hard to get into, for me at least. I like wasn't obsessed with it, but so many people messaged me and said it was like one of their favorite books. And I'm also doing a book club with my family, so I kind of kept going for that too. But 
I'm on chapter 10 and I'm slowly, slowly getting hooked and I think I'm gonna really like it. So I'll probably do that for the next hour or two and then maybe watch a movie or something. But you guys are gonna need a lot more content coming next week because like I said earlier, I'm planning to do vlog week, which will be literally a new vlog every single day. Not really sure what I'm gonna vlog, but I wanna give you guys more content I already talked about that. So anyways, hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.